In today's video, we'll be getting into a few fall trends. If that's something that you're interested in, stick around. Hello beauties, I'm Gigi and this is Gigi's Flavor of Life. And here I share my unique style to help you discover yours. Welcome to the closet, to all the new beauties, and of course, hey girl, hey, to all of my returning beauties. Thank you all so much for stopping by the closet this right now. We are gonna be getting into just a few of the fall trends. We're not gonna go over every single one because there are just so many of them and I do I love most of them, shall I say. But I will also say that these trends are so reminiscent of my closet from the 1990s. I mean, every single one of these trends. So I am loving the trends, you know, moving into fall. And we're gonna talk about a few of them, like I said. So let's get into the very first trend. Now the very first trend we're going to chit chat about over here in the closet today is leopard print. Now I have been seeing this all over the place. It was all over the runways. We have the leopard denim jean. We have the leopard trench coat. And I mean, if you are an animal print girly, then I am sure, I'm 100% sure that you have this pattern already in your closet. I most definitely do in a pair of gorgeous heels that, I mean, these have been in my closet forever, literally. I actually just, I had two pair. I just got rid of one pair. And then I have this gorgeous um, envelope or like a laptop bag that sometimes I carry as a clutch. And these two pieces have been in my wardrobe for at least like the last, at least the last 10 years. So I'm sure that you girlies and you guys have something in your wardrobe that is a leopard print. Now, if you are not inclined to just go head first into this trend, there are so many ways that you can incorporate the leopard print into your wardrobe with a great pair of shoes like I just showed you, a loafer, I've seen beautiful belts, um, and of course I will have my choice of items linked down in the description box. I have seen these style, this print styled up in bubble skirts. I've seen it styled up in trench coats. But again, if you are not wanting to dive head first into this sort of print, or if not, you're not a print girly, you're more of a neutral girly, you can add a small little clutch. You can add it in your earrings. You can add this print in a beautiful headband if you're a headband girly or a beautiful, you know, hair accessory and a scrunchie. Um, they're just a scarf, a beautiful scarf tied around your neck or tied around your head. I mean, there is just so many ways that you can incorporate this style into your fall wardrobe, even if you are not a big print girly. Now, the next trend we are going to get into is the boho, the boho chic style. Now, I feel like this particular take on boho is a little bit more elevated than it was in past years, or when I was a young adult, it was more of a, I don't know, I guess it was more of like a hippie boho-ish kind of girly, but this is more of a chic boho type of girly as we've seen on the Chloe runway, which was a gorgeous, uh, all of the flowy tops, which we all wore back in the 1990s. And I found some beautiful ones over at Mango, as well as over in H&M with the beautiful belled sleeves or the beautiful uh, chiffon material tied around your neck. Very billowy, very flowy that just goes well with a great pair as we saw as well on the Chloe website, not Chloe website, as we saw as well on the Chloe runway show with a great pair of thigh high or a great pair of 
knee high like that cognac brown color boot so yes all of the boho chicness and the flowy tops and the flowy dresses and the i call them sort of like a prairie skirts they are all back honey they are back now if you're not a full-on boho chic girl shall i say there's always great ways to incorporate this particular trend into your wardrobe without going full-on boho like i mentioned before in a beautiful blouse that can be paired with a great pair of jeans and a knee-high boot or again the prairie flowy-esque skirt with in my opinion which goes really really great with like an oversized sweater and a great scarf just you know thrown around your neck or you can even do like a prairie style skirt with a great pair of converse a great simple white t-shirt and a blazer that is also a way to sort of like i guess like interchange or mix and mingle your trends a little bit because the preppy <laughs> trend is also a thing this fall so a great structured blazer with a boho -y, very chic flowy-esque skirt which given a little bit of structure on top and a little bit of wild and a little bit of wild girl on the bottom or a little bit of carefreeness on the bottom it's giving you that juxtaposition of styles a great pair of converse or a great ankle booty a great slouchy bag you're out the door. You're participating in the boho chic trend, if you will. So that, in my opinion, is a great way to dive into, uh, maybe not dive, maybe dip your toe into the boho chic aesthetic um, for fall. Now, beauties, our next fall trend that we will be chit-chatting about over here is the suede trend i cannot tell you guys enough about how much suede we wore back in the day i don't know was it was it you was it just me and my little friend group or was it you guys too let me know down in the description box if you guys did too and i don't know i might be dating myself but who remembers wilson's leathers girl i had all of the suede i guess you would call them they're called shackets like the jackets but it was a shirt but it was a jacket but it was all suede girl i had the caramel i had the um the burgundy which is back as we know i had the burgundy i had the black i had the navy i had the light tan color child need i say more but nevertheless suede is back and i've always been a suede girly i know some people are a little bit funny about wearing suede or they don't like it and i know that you do have to be careful when you wear suede because you could absolutely ruin it um but girl she's back and she's back in beautiful this beautiful camel color or cognac color she's back in the deepest darkest browns which again is that same color palette that we were indulging in back in my early adulthood in the 1990s um, I can remember like I did not start wearing makeup guys until a little bit of a story time I did not start wearing makeup until I was like fresh out of like way out of high school like I didn't wear any makeup in high school and the color of lipstick that my signature color back then was like this deep dark brown and that was all I wore my hair was very short with the deep brown lipstick and that was it and that was my color palette and those colors are here again in this suede trend we, we're seeing all of the beautiful handbags i mean they are everywhere i found a few great ones over on tj maxx that i should be popping up here and of course i'll have them linked below but i've seen some very beautiful suede again those swing-esque like prairie skirts which sort of in my opinion are sort of crossing trends a little bit because you do have that shape 
from the boho chic but it's in a material that is also very current which is the suede so the suede's are back and like i said we're seeing them in beautiful handbags we're seeing them in the shackets we're seeing them in skirts and again if it's a trend that you are mm, not so keen to you know dive head first into you can do it in a small way with a tiny clutch or a larger clutch i found this i have always been a clutch girly i mean if you guys remember um, Joan Clayton wearing the oversized clutches and girlfriends I mean I just used to eat that up so I found this really beautiful clutch the name of the website is slipping from my mind at the moment but I'm gonna link it I'm gonna post the picture of it up right here and of course it'll be linked down in the description box it is this beautiful tan suede a little bit of an oversized clutch and she is gorgeous so you can incorporate suede into your wardrobe for fall in small ways like in a loafer or in a tiny handbag and a little crossbody if it is something that you're not sure if you love it or you like it or you just want to give it a try but suede is back guys in the most beautiful rich colors for fall now beauties, if you love hanging out in the closet with me over here and you feel like these videos bring a lot of value to you, do me a favor and please hit the like button. It lets YouTube know that you love it over here in the closet. Now beauties, the next trend that I feel like has been trickling down from season to season in different variations or somewhat of the same variation as well is the color red or the oxblood, blood burgundy. Now we are seeing the chocolate browns, which is also moving us into like a deeper foresty greenish sort of color shall I say for fall and I am here for it we already know that I love the oxblood wineish type of color and recently I picked up these the little fur mules from the scoop brand at Walmart and I do plan on child getting my little bit of cost per wear out of these before it is um too cold to have my feet out like this and I mean I know me child I might even throw these on with a pair of cute little printed socks just to get a little bit more of my cost per wear but these are such a cute little gem we got the we got the burgundy color and we have the, the fur for a little bit of texture so I recently picked these up of course they came in black but the color for me is what did it so the burgundies, like I was saying, in the deep chocolate browns and a lot of the foresty greens that we are seeing in a lot of monochromatic looks, which I love um, in recent times. Was it last winter? I think last winter I picked up the cloud clutch from Mansur Gavrielle in this beautiful oxblood color. I recently grabbed a sweater from H&M which I'll pop up here and I'll also link it down below in this beautiful color it has the beautiful gold buttons on her I mean this color in my opinion is almost like a neutral I mean she looks great with tans she looks great with browns and greens as well she looks great with grays and I'm a gray girl I love a good gray. You you give me a gray. That that is my color. But this oxblood color and gray, they look so good together. And also thinking back to my young adult years, I know all of us remember the OPI nail polish color Lincoln Park After Dark. Child, she is back. So any of those type of colors for fall if you want to incorporate this color palette into your wardrobe and you just don't really want to dive headfirst in you want to just you know put your put your little pinky toe in there a little bit a great way is to invest in a great pair of 
original or like a basic penny loafer or a basic Oxford because the burgundy wine color is the original color of a loafer. And so there you go, you have a classic piece. You are also participating in this color, th this beautiful fall color trend. And it's a piece also that will, they'll never go out of style. A loafer, a great classic wine color penny loafer. Child, you're wearing her forever. So that is an, also another way to indulge in these colors. A great pair of opaque tights is another expensive way and another way that we are seeing all over the place um, to wear this particular color trend for this fall. We can put her with, her with our pleat skirts, those bubble skirts that we are all loving and still are on trend. We can extend the length of wear that we are getting out of these pieces with a great pair of opaque tights and also incorporating this season's beautiful burgundies and browns and that beautiful forest green. Okay, beauties, now I ain't gonna hold y'all, but this last trend is a bit of a throwback from my young adult childhood and it is the bag charm trend. I am here for it. I mean, if you grew up or if you if you grew up back in the 90s, child, you had a big old keychain, you had the charms and you hooked them on to your bag. And I mean, I can range from anywhere from a maximalist to a somewhat of a minimalist, depending on who I choose to be that day. But this trend, I mean, I feel like it is for everyone, whether you decide to just clip on one little charm or like me, you want all of the beads and braids and things, okay? And if you remember what movie that came from, comment down below. So the bag charm trend we have been seeing for quite some time. I feel like it has just been building and building and building. And I actually have had pinned on one of my Pinterest boards. Actually, I have a Pinterest board that is specifically for this particular aesthetic, if you will. And I have been wanting to do this DIY of taking a speedy bag and accessorizing her with patches and charms. I mean, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it for the fall season. But again, this handbag charm trend, I feel like it is for everyone. I feel like no two bags will ever be the same. I don't care where you are, who you are, even if you are twins, you will still have separate taste in what you decide to display on your handbags and it's so customizable and it's so interchangeable depending on how you're feeling that day in that moment you can go from pearls to gold chains to cherries to remember the giant fur balls which i i have somewhere around here in this closet which i will be attaching to a bag this fall so the handbag charm trend for the fall season, it is a thing. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere for quite some time. It's just adorable. And I feel like it is something that everyone can partake in because I know I will be. All right, beauties, let me know which of these fall trends you will be partaking in. Me personally, you know I'm gonna be partaking in them all. So, uh, if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hanging out with us in the closet. We would love to have you be a part of our beautiful family. Now y'all, I gotta go. I don't know where you are or what time it is where you are, but here it is first thing in the morning and my stomach is growling. So I gotta get out of here. Thank you all so much for stopping by the closet this week. And I'll see you next week, beauties. Bye.